Hey, welcome back to my channel. I've got a little problem and I'm gonna show you if you're anything like me, your desk probably looks like this with all these cables. And I bought these desk grommets from Amazon. Um, the review said that they're a little snug and hard to get in, so we'll see if it works or not. Will this fit? Uh -oh. Hey, welcome back to my channel, Mike Botros DIY Home and Garden. Uh, today I'm inside the home. Uh, I've got a little problem and I'm going to show you. If you're anything like me, your desk probably looks like this with all these cables all around the desk. Well, I need to fix this. I want, I want to get rid of all these cables or hide as much of these cables as possible. And you know, these desk makers, they, uh, you know, they put these grommets in, but uh, you know, <laughs> mine's a little overloaded now. You know, they put one on this side over here. They put one over here on this side, right there. But uh, I don't have a, a computer there. The, the funny thing is, you know, the keyboard, tray is right there so um, you're gonna naturally you're gonna put your monitor keyboard whatever on this side in front of the keyboards drawer so um, I mean it makes sense why they didn't put one over on on this side this this was intended to be let me move this out a little bit out of the way I was doing some work over here but this was intended to be the uh, you know computer cabinet or something you can put your computer or whatever inside there and uh, you know, they have grommets underneath too for the power cords and and whatnot but that's not where I need it. This side is all drawers, so you're not gonna be able to access the cords when the drawers are in. So it makes sense why they didn't put grommets on this side, because how are you gonna get to it? But now uh, we just we just moved the furniture around in here this weekend, uh, or this last weekend, so um, I, I had to take the drawers out so that I can care so that me and my wife could carry the desks and move it around even um, pick them up but while the drawers are out I'm going to be remedying this problem and I bought these desk grommets from Amazon um, the review said that they're a little snug and hard to get in so we'll see if it works or not uh, and in addition to that I bought the hole saw from Amazon to drill the holes in. So let's get to work and start drilling. So the first thing I gotta do is figure out where I'm gonna locate it. And I think what I'm gonna do is try to make it as symmetric as possible. I'm big into symmetry. I like things to be symmetric. So I'm gonna replicate the position of this side over on this side. And to do that, I'm going to use this. I'm blanking on the name of this right now. It's some kind of a square, uh, but it's got the, the measurements so you can see the length. Uh, I have already measured in from this side so I can see how long it is and to the center of this grommet approximately it may not be perfect but that's okay it's gonna look good anyways so let's start marking from that side it looked like the center of the grommet was about seven and uh, seven and a quarter inches and this is about six inches in this way a little bit less that's about five and five eighths in so i'm just gonna guess where where it is roughly speaking so that I can just line this up and then I'm gonna move this and clearly the cords are a little bit in the way. So we're 
we're gonna have to move these cords. Just gonna unplug them from the computer for now. Here we again. Five and five eighths right here. I'm just gonna put a line at the end of this. Trace the line for seven and a quarter. And then I will set it to five and seven eighths. I don't know if I was saying five eighths or seven eighths earlier. Line that up and mark it again. And now I found, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but yeah, you can kind of see it. That's my center point. So the first thing to do is drill out the center. And I'll show you why I'm gonna drill a hole there first. This is the hole saw and it's got a spring to push the piece out once it's uh, once you've cut cut in and so the piece doesn't get stuck inside the saw, which can happen if you don't have that spring. But I don't want this thing to move around on this surface. This is like a mel melanin or melamine or whatever the surface is called. I don't want that to happen. So I've got uh, the kind of bit that's got a point on the end. You see that sharp point? I'm gonna use that so I can stay centered and not move around. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the drill on this side, but that's okay. I just need to make sure that this drill bit goes in straight and in the middle. So let me slide the computer out the way. And with that little pin in it, you can easily point it and center it and then start drilling. And that's good. It does drilled. Double check from underneath. That's going to be in the perfect spot. And it's, since I should say, this grommet has an edge. So um, as long as it's not tearing out too far, you know, a good idea would be to uh, tape it down. So actually, let me vacuum up this dust. I'm gonna put tape down on it first, painter's tape, just to uh, make sure it doesn't mar up any of the other surface around it. I should have mentioned, these are one and three quarter inch um, grommets. They sell them in many different sizes, including two inch grommets. But the one, the ones already in my desk are, are one and three quarters inches. And I wanted to match them so that uh, I can, I can, you know, if I want to change them all to make them all match, uh, that I don't have to adjust the holes that are already existing because it's harder to, to cut that. But anyways, these are one and three quarters and I've got a one and three quarter inch uh, hole saw. So let's get sawing now. A lot of dust coming up. Let's turn the vacuum on. Okay, so I got it most of the way through on this side. Now I'm gonna go underneath. You can kind of smell the burning in here. Whew. Yeah, I kind of burned the inside of this saw. I'm gonna go underneath, since there's already a hole drilled all the way through for the pilot. I'm gonna go in from the bottom and I'm gonna go the rest of the way up. See that pop out? So now my hole is cut and since I went from the bottom, because this is the bottom surface was just this uh, bare, this is the, the material. Anyways, that bottom surface 
was really bare. Um, and so to prevent it from blowing out when I went in from the top, that's why I went in from the bottom again. So I pushed in again against it and uh, that prevents it from, you know, splintering down inside it from the bottom. And now the moment of truth. Will this fit? Uh-oh. Doesn't seem like it wants to go in any further. Let's see. Am I gonna be able to get it down in more? It's not really going in easily. Let's see if we can fix this. I have an idea. This is a file. I, I kind of planned ahead for this and uh, had tested it out on one of the other holes. So I, I knew that this was gonna be a tight fit and I didn't know if it was gonna work or not. So let's file out the inside of this a bit with this file and see if it works. very far. Let's file some more. See if that helps it get in. working a little bit better but it didn't get too far let's see if I can get it out again or if I just have to keep going down let's put the lid on it uh-oh uh-oh I think it's stuck Let's see if we can just get a, a scrap piece of wood and, and hammer it in. I can't even tell if it's moving. What if I just push down on it with my weight? Where's my rubber balance? Now it's in, nice and flush. New desk grommet. Uh, so that was my first try with these. Lesson learned. Um, 
if it's not going in that smoothly, keep filing. Don't try to force it in because it just made it a little bit more of a pain. So I got one more grommet that I want to put underneath on the bottom of this cabinet, this, this side of the cabinet over here so that I can run a power cord and other, actually I wanna do two more, one up top and one at the bottom so I can run a power cord up through here and then I'm going to move this KVM, KVM switch, keyboard, video, mouse, um, HDMI switch, I wanna move that underneath too so that I don't have this jungle of wires up top but that's gonna be in the keyboard drawer and that's gonna be near the top. So I don't want to have to uh, go all the way down to the bottom to run the wires back up too much extra. So anyways, these, they're good, but difficult to get in. They're a little bit larger than one and three eight or one and three quarters inch. Um, I link them down below in the description uh, if you want them. Uh, and I'll link the, uh, uh, what else? The 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 hole saw and the um, this kind of a square thing for measuring and the the file and everything, all the tools that you need for this little project. If you want to add grommets to your desk, I will link those in the description. If this was helpful, please like the video. Please subscribe for more of these little DIY projects uh, modifications to your desk and other things that I do around the house. I've got more videos that I've recorded and will be posting. Uh, so if you, if you want to see what else is uh, in store, please subscribe to my channel. And um, if, if you got any tips or ideas that could have made this go easier, please leave a comment in the, uh, in the comment section. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.